So YouTube, team keep it clean. Wow, well, Ravens just been super active. Uh, you see, I tried to do a little New Orleans theme in the background for this video. Shout out to the Saints. And shout out to New Orleans. You know, I, I've never been there before yet. I would love to go. I always hear so many great things about New Orleans, minus everything from Eli Apple. But besides that, I hear so much great stuff about New Orleans. Anyway, the Ravens, they have requested to interview Chris Richard. Who is Chris Richard? Well, he's somebody that the Steelers actually requested to interview first, and he is the Saints DB's coach. So, on the 24th, the Steelers requested to interview him uh, for their vacant defensive coordinator opening. And then <laughs> the Ravens, the very next day, the Ravens, they requested to interview Chris Richard uh, for their defensive coordinator opening. So he, yeah, he's a very popular man uh, amongst the AFC North. Oh, he used to be the, uh, the Seahawks defensive coordinator. Now, what was he that Seahawks defensive coordinator from when the Seahawks was like that? If so, hey, can we can Ravens get like that to where they like are actually like tough? And I know defense is it's tough to play nowadays. You you cannot play defense not nearly as you used to be able to. Not even the same way it was like five six years ago, and certainly not 10, 12 years ago. It's a completely different ball game. But the Ravens are just they they are missing something right now. But anyway, um, with Sean Payton leaving, uh, whoever ends up being their next head coach, if they promote from within, and I know Ian Rappaport said if, if Dennis Allen gets the job, then he'd probably like Richard to stick around. But whatever they do, if they promote from within, then they would, somebody would, would probably want him to stay there. But anyway, another DB coach that the, uh, the Ravens are looking at. Now, when we look at interceptions... The Saints were tied for one, two, three, fourth in interceptions this year with 18. Uh, they were tied with the Green Bay Packers with 18 picks. So they were up there, you know, and just to put it into perspective, the Ravens had nine interceptions. But anyway, um, and then when you just look at total turnovers, I know that sort of that could be anything. That could come from the linebackers. It could come from the D-line. It could come from the cornerbacks, of course, too. But total turnovers, um, they were tied for seventh, I believe, at 25 with the Rams, uh, Saints, and the Texans. Oh, Texans. Let me see where Ravens were on this list. Oh, Ravens. Total turnovers. Ravens were tied for third from the bottom. So they were, they were, they were tied for third from the bottom. So... Yeah, we're 15. Anyway, um, it, it seems as if, th like, this is very strange to me. So we, we keep talking about the Ravens. We, 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 they need, not even just that we want to see, they need a philosophy change. They have to have, well, several philosophy changes. And I just find it so crazy that for a defense and and hopefully they're not just doing these interviews just to say that they did these interviews hopefully these are not blank interviews to where because you know some jobs will do it they, they'll do it and especially in the nfl oh boy especially with the whole rooney rule but anyway um you know some either some regular jobs will do it too they will interview people just to say that they interviewed people i've been through that before i remember a job that i was working at Actually, the, the last job that I was working before we started doing YouTube full time um, in our department, they were like, all right, hey, we need somebody to be our team lead. Need somebody to be the team lead. If you want to be the team lead, you can apply for it. Now, crazy part was everybody, all of us who worked in that department, we knew that the people at the top, they favored this one girl to get the job. But I knew, I knew just as much as she did, knew all the staff, was friendly, happy. Hey, what's up, man? Not early in the morning, that ain't me, but early in the morning, be like, yo, what's good, man? But anyway, I knew just as much as she did, but I was thinking like, oh, man, like, I'll apply for it, and I'll go through the process of an interview, but I know at the end of the day, it's going to go to her. Everybody knew at the end of the day that it was going to go to her. And there were other people that applied too. And they knew some stuff too. 
But I, I knew I was more than confident and more than capable of doing the job. But I just felt like the department was just going through the interview process just to say that they had done it. Just so it could be a fair fight, so to speak. So I went through the interview process and guess who got the job? <coughs> she did. Not me. Not anybody else. The girl who everybody expected to get the job, she got the job. Why? And we knew it was coming. It was no shock. It wasn't no surprise. It wasn't like, oh, whoa, she got it. Great job. No, we all saw it coming. And hopefully this is not what the Ravens are doing. But anyway, um, I, that, I have just been really shocked that they've been going outside the organization. And they seem, at least early on, they seem to have a thing for DB coaches. <laughs> Something's up there. So maybe they feel like, hey, if somebody could specialize in the secondary, then hey, maybe you could be the man for the job. I mean, you know, Har Harbaugh used to be a secondary coach with the Eagles. He used to be a secondary guy. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was a secondary coach before he ended up becoming a special teams guy. So he got some experience in a secondary coach, and, and he's, he's probably like, look, man, hey, I know, hey, trust me, don't sleep on these secondary coaches because they got some potential. Look at me. But don't sleep on these secondary guys. Um, but, yeah, so we'll see what comes of this. Uh, so another interview, well, another request for an interview. We'll see if the interview goes down. But – Ravens, they, they went from being hush-hush. They went from being super silent. Like, oh, man, what's going on with these Ravens? I think, I think Ravens actually probably watched the video that we did where we talked about the Ravens had been too quiet. Because like a week after that video was done, maybe a week and a half, oh, it's this, it's that, it's that. First it was, oh, they fired Wink, oh, they signed Ben Mason to a future deal. They expected to extend John Harbaugh to a contract. And, oh, they, in, they request to interview Joe Witt. They request to interview Chris Richard. And it's like, whoa, Ravens got crazy active all of a sudden. But we here now. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all so, 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 so much. This offseason, it's, it's like, again, we can forget. We can easily forget during the week that hey, it's still playoff games going on. It's still playoff games going on because there has been so much that has been going. On. <laughs> there has been so much that has been going on with the Ravens, man, and we ain't even we ain't even into the new league year yet. We ain't even there yet, and these Ravens been getting super active, man. This this off season, boy, I tell you, man. This offseason is going to be something. It is going to be something. And a lot of the, some of the Ravens moves that they've made have sort of changed how I feel as they approach this upcoming offseason. Um, they've, they've changed my expectations, obviously hoping for the best. Uh, but my expectations are different than what they were going into the season before a few moves were made. But we're going to see, man. We gonna see. I right, love y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on because I haven't heard about anybody missing anything, but I don't want to hear about anybody missing anything. Turn your notifications on and follow on Twitter too so you see every single video that goes up. I love y'all and for real this time, we out. Y'all stay up, man.